We met, of all places, in front of Gristides, some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some fruit loops he dropped by the curb. And he made some remark that my smile was superb. I thought that was sweet. And I started to go when he said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Cause I'll be here on the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at seven. If you wanna meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show. And there he was, out in the cold with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. The next week, we went to this terrible play, and the week after that, drank hot chocolate all day. Suddenly, eight or nine months have flown by, he said, hey, what you do in the rest of your life? Because I'll be here, right beside you, as long as you want me to be. There's no question. There's nothing I've wanted so much in my life. And this might sound immature, but I'm totally sure you're the one. We had just begun. We got hitched in September, our favorite month, with a rock band that played in Seoul Synagogue. And we bought an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash, and we promised to take the day off. He had to stop into his office that morning, and so I went walking uptown to this bakery I know, and I heard on the street what I thought was a joke till I noticed the sirens and saw all the smoke. I went running back home with this feeling of dread to the voicemail he left and the last words he said. I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. But today, something happened that spooked me all right. I saw a box of his Fruit Loops right there on the shelf. And I cried and couldn't get a hold of myself. When as sure as I breathe, I heard John clear as day saying, hey, you're allowed to move on. It's okay. Cause I'll be here. Even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater. If you wanna go out on my birthday this year, instead of sitting at home, watching all of life's moments go by. You don't have to cry because I'll be here when you start going back to the places we went to together. When you take off my ring and you let yourself smile, when you meet someone handsome and patient and true, someone who'll rescue some Fruit Loops for you, when you call him one night and he meets you downtown, and you finally answer him yes. Yes, Jason, I will marry you. I give you my heart. It's taken this long, but I'm ready to start. Right now, John's whispering congrats in my ear, as I finally let myself tell you. I will be